Be sure to check out some of the links below for free shed plans from the Jamaica Cottage Shop based in Vermont. Hey, what's up guys? DeekRelaxShacks.com. Oftentimes I build uh, with Tough Tex, it's called. It's a polycarbonate. Polycarbonate's the same thing that's used in fighter jet canopies, um, bank teller, glass windows, the bulletproof ones, safety goggles, that kind of stuff. I use it, it's durable, it's lightweight, it's pretty affordable. Uh, it installs very easily. I'm not a patient man. So right now, uh, as I frequently use this stuff in tree houses, I'm cutting some double-walled greenhouse poly made by, uh, made by Andorra. It's called Tough Tech still. And I can show you guys how to do it because it's a little bit tricky. I see people using like aviation or tin snips all the time, people using box cutters or utility knives, and that is like the total pain in the butt way to do it. There is a much easier way. By the way, a little shout out to Milwaukee, kind of my tool of choice. Uh, a lot of people ask Deke, what do you use the impact driver from them? This is just the regular drill. Uh, the fuel series stuff is my favorite. Um, if I remember to, I'm not gonna promise anything. Maybe I'll put the links down below, but I do have a ton of other links down below that are all like tiny house related and uh, to my new book as well. But here's the material we're dealing with. It has a protective clear like uh, covering on it that you peel off later, which is cool because as you're running a circular saw on it, it's gonna scuff it up potentially. So it's the equivalent of, you know, when you cut things and put masking tape to protect the wood, this has an entire sheet, both sides that protect the surface so you don't scratch up the beautiful translucent, not transparent, translucent to transparent stuff. First thing I wanna do is get my measurements. I'm gonna use a marker. Again, I'm drawing not on the actual material itself, but on the clear uh, layer that you peel off on top of it so we're not ruining anything. Make sure you wear some safety goggles while cutting this stuff too, and we'll get to that in just a second. I'm measuring this out in particular to fill in some kind of gable uh, ends for a tree house I'm working on. I was gonna do it with plywood, but I figured why not use this stuff to allow more natural light into that tree house. And it's lightweight, which is kind of important when building tree houses. So I have made my marks with a marker, measure things carefully. I'm now gonna connect my two points with a line. Again, permanent mark is fine. You're not ruining the actual material. And I'm gonna find a long straight board because I don't have a level that's over six feet long and I'm gonna just trace and make my cutting line. Try to support the sag in the middle here too because that will change where you're tracing your line. Now the secret sauce to doing this simply, I got my favorite trusty cordless saw here. I have changed the blade out with a newer blade, but basically one that has a ton of teeth. We don't have to get scientific with the tooth count on this, but it's this blade as opposed to one that looks like this. A blade like this would be used for more rough cuts, cutting lumber, you know, basically just cutting through deck stock, uh, two by fours, two by sixes, all that. That's not what you want. That will moidalize, absolutely destroy this stuff. You gotta use some finesse, gotta be sexy, gentle. This has a ton of teeth on it. It will cut a finer, more defined, less rough, less chewed up line. This is the blade you need. Not the tin snips, not spending two weeks cutting through this with a utility knife, that's the worst. This is all you need. I need. Now let me explain and show you what I meant earlier about the protective layer. I'm not going to take this off because I still have to transport it to the building site. I want to protect it for as long as I can before installing it. But see this right here? There's a clear layer that protects the goods underneath. I'm very thankful they include this because you could really scratch and mess this stuff up, which is no good for your client if they're expecting something that looks awesome. I want something that looks awesome. Not a beat scratched up final product when it comes to using this stuff, like I, like I say, do uh, in tree houses, tiny houses, kind of for windows. Or not tiny houses so much, but more in seasonal cabins, backwoods escapes, and tree houses. So this stuff peels out afterwards. You start to see, here's the other layer, how cool it looks once I kind of clean it off. See inside there? 
that's just some of the sawdust that got inside these cells. You can dump that out easily by kind of tipping the stuff or running a hose through it if it's rather stubborn. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully that saves you guys some time, some hassle. And the stuff, you know, at 50 to 60 or some odd bucks a four by eight foot sheet is, uh, you know, they're not absolutely giving it away. It is a quality product. You don't want to screw up your sheets. So take my advice, take your time. The more teeth on that saw blade, the better. By the way, some parting advice. Here's one of two pieces I have left over from the cuts I need because I had to cut another large piece to cover up. See in the background what would be like a makeshift swim, uh, swing window. My advice is save these scraps. Next build comes around. I have another treehouse build coming up. You know darn well I will incorporate this. I will plan to incorporate it in some way, shape, or form. This way I'm saving uh, time. This way I'm saving time. I'm saving money. I'm using the stuff I have. I'm saving trips to the store. I'm not wasting anything. So it's some of the best advice I can probably leave with you guys. All right, think economically. Use all the stuff you have. Plan a way into using it in your future projects and you will save so much money, I'm telling you. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm DeekRelaxShacks.com. Subscribe, leave a comment, this, that, and the other thing, and we will see you later.